Happy Wednesday to you, my friends. It is time for Hump Day Huddle. Your movie quote today is one of my favorites. I use it all the time. Name the movie that this quote is from. You're killing me, Smalls. Leave your answers in the comments for me. Your nugget of awesomeness today is about answering the call. My disciple group's been talking a lot lately about uh, generosity and helping others in need. And I've been wrestling with this question about why we, a collective we, sometimes choose not to get involved or help in a certain situation when we know there's a need, we, we feel a tug to help, we have the means to do it, but we still don't act. I mean, does Sarah McLaughlin have to sing that gut-wrenching song from the animal shelter commercials to, to get us to do something? I think sometimes we don't act because we, we always have that little thought in the back of our heads that says, well, surely somebody else is going to help with that. I remember uh, uh, reading this uh, psychology case study back when I was in college about this young woman named Kitty Genovese. She lived in New York City back in the 60s, and she was killed right outside of her apartment. And when uh, she was first encountered, uh, the, the attacker, he, he hurt her badly, and she screamed, and he ran off. But then nobody came to help in the next 10, 12 minutes, and the guy returned and finished what he started. Now, Apparently, there were several witnesses to at least part of what happened, but nobody acted, presumably because they all thought that somebody else was going to help. Somebody else was going to call the police. Now, on the other side of that, in, in an opposite and much more pleasant example, I remember my wife and I leaving this outdoor concert years ago, and, and, and we were parking in basically what was a field that had turned to mud, because of a huge storm that, that had come through. But we'd made it up onto the exit road, and there's 50, 60 cars lined up to leave. And I, but I see this one car down at the bottom of the field. It's stuck. I mean, really stuck. Dude is outside back of it. He is, he's pushing on it. His wife's gunning it. There's mud flying everywhere, mostly on him. But I remember looking at, at them down in the car and all these cars lined up and thinking, well, surely somebody's going to go help him. Five, ten minutes pass, nobody helps. I look at my wife and kind of say incredulously, nobody's going to help that guy. She looked at me and said, don't look like it. And then I hear this loud voice in my head yell at me, hey, dumbass, why are you not going down there to help him? So I jump out of the car and finally go down there. And I mean, we're soaked, mud all over us. We finally rock that car out of its spot. We're high five and hugging each other. I run back to the car strip down and drive home in just my underwear and what my wife described as the cheesiest grin she'd ever seen on my face. I know my stories are very, very different, but the point is at some point, we got to pull the trigger and act on some of these impulses that we have and not wait on that elusive someone else to step up. I mean, I may have answered the call that day in the field, but most of the time, I feel like I fail miserably at this. And what is it about people that just seem so good at that? They always seem to answer that call. I think we like to tell ourselves sometimes that, oh, those people are better equipped for that. They have more time. They have more resources. You know what? Maybe they just have more heart. <sighs> Oof. I mean, that, that hurts for me to say that. Whatever I am or am not, I damn sure don't want to be the guy that doesn't have enough heart. Look, I know we can't answer every call, address every need, but we can be more intentional about it. We can focus on it and make it a bigger part of our regular lives. And then maybe, just maybe, we start to make the world around us a little bit better bit by bit. Let's have a great rest of the week. Thank you for coming out. I'll see you again next time. Reach, grow, do.